Hi guys, welcome to Nerf Talk on Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Nightfinder EX3. And this is my brother's gun, so he's going to be taking care of most of the review. So, leave lots of comments. It's his first time. <laughs> so, this is a great gun. Other than every single time, you have to, of course you have to cock it. But then you shoot it. And then since it doesn't have a clip or a revolver, you have to put another bullet in each and every time. So it's kind of hard to reload. It's a pain. Yeah. Really but it pain. but it's really good at accuracy. And it comes with a laser on the gun. It if you want to use it, you're gonna need it. Um you can adjust it, bring it up, down, right, left, everywhere. And it's pretty cool actually. But my laser it broke because I think you dropped it or something. I don't know what happened. But when you use it, you have to pull the laser down as much as you can, and that's probably the best accuracy. And then, yeah. So um, how to activate the laser? And how to activate the laser? You don't need to turn on, turn it on. It's when you pull the trigger halfway, then the laser will come on, and then. And so, that's really helpful, by yeah. the way. So so you don't ever leave it on like a waste battery. Yeah, it's great. Um another thing it's really portable, like you know, it's just one hand Stick gun. In your pants. Yeah. <laughs> Anything really. It's a small, nice gun. It probably shoots well at, at first it comes with these black sticky darts. Um they're if you want to use darts for it, I recommend that you use the Whistler tips, and they're probably the best darts that come with it. Don't come with it, but well, don't come with it, but yeah. And let me say something. It takes, um, I'm assuming, two AA batteries or LR16s. So two AA batteries to activate the laser. You have to unscrew the bottom. I, it may feel like you're breaking your gun, but no. Yeah. And you don't want to use streamlines. They work almost as fine, but they're not as great because the end it's it doesn't have you know another part. I, I don't know. It it's sort of yeah. It's not as great as, as the other types of bullets. Yeah, see that? Did you see how it shot? It shot horribly. So you want to use, what he's saying, you want to use black tip darts or sticky darts, and I assume the um, Velcro darts would work too. I've never tried mm -hmm. the Velcro darts. Yes. Amateurs. <laughs> and may I say, this is the most accurate gun I've seen, and it's got the best range. I'm going to get the CS35 soon, so I'll tell you if that's better. But so far, this is the most accurate in the farthest range, so it's a perfect sidearm. If if you can't reach someone, like that has a CS6 or or a revolver or um, a Maverick, and you use this, you'll get them real easy because it shoot easily shoots. It, it shoots a lot better, and when we show you the shooting, you're gonna be able to see what we mean by that. And now, let's go shooting. Dear. Now we're going to do the shooting, well Julian's going to do the shooting, with the EX3. He's going to use the Whistler darts. Same configuration as usual, about 28 feet. Square in the middle. See how accurate it is. We'll tell you the effective range of it, which is going to be a lot. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Sometimes you have to, um... Go a little bit up, just not a lot, but yeah, you always move a yeah. nerf gunner. Pretty close. And Out of ammo already. <laughs> now it only comes with three shots, and you only use those three shots if you know how to sh shoot it. Um, you shoot it at a small angle, and I mean a little angle upwards. I mean not not that much, just just by a little bit. And you'll hit every time, cause it's it's a really good gun, actually. And I can see why it only holds three shots, cause you never need more. And plus, it's a sidearm. Unless you all have these, you only use this as a sidearm. 
I mean, it's 10 bucks, right? And that's the end of the review for the Nightfinder EX3.